My second regular season scare acting has ended. 21 nights, 14 episodes, and hundreds of scares finished. But one pivotal part of my 2023 season has happened much more recently. Because over a month after the insanity of Haunt season has ended, we return to Dungeon of Doom for one cold December weekend to close out the 2023 season with Subthermal Nightmare. DoD doesn't want actors using the same characters we had for the normal season, so I made a new character. I could have just taken whatever DoD's costuming gave me, but I've learned throughout the season that I really like creating my own costumes and characters. I just have a little bit of a procrastination issue. It is Tuesday. Subthermal is Friday. It's Tuesday, I have not even started my costume. So uh, today is gonna be spent just doing that. I said I would yesterday and I did not. And I've been saying I would for the past two weeks and I have not. Um, so what we're gonna do first, we're gonna put everything on just as is. I'm gonna see what works best. And we're gonna go one by one and complete it. For the base layer, we're keeping it pretty simple. I'm wearing the ripped jeans I literally resort to whenever I don't wanna worry about the bottom. I did this for the Halloween costume too. Last time I just had bandages on and that was a horrible idea. We're gonna have an under layer because it was freezing. I especially wanted to make this costume for sentimental reasons as well, because last year's subthermal was the first time I ever made my own costume. It was pretty bare bones, I didn't really know how to make much, so this STN, I wanted to show how much I'd learned and really elevate that character to become what I failed to make it last year. Okay, base layer! I'm changing nothing about this layer. Everything's staying the same. Ignore my socks. So I went to Goodwill and I found this thing and I like it a lot. I think it works great. It's also for children. This is a child's jacket. This is going to be the centerpiece. I got this for literally $5 at Goodwill. I got all the belts on. I have a little satchel and I'm going to try not to pee in this costume because this is a whole process to get on. I've stuck um, a scarf along my neck. I've put it down here and I want to put a fun little armor pad thing here. I went back and forth on this upper part of my costume for a while. I wanted to do something with that mitt because I bought it at Goodwill and I wanted to use it, but I was torn on how to go about these shoulder pieces. Ah, I'm torn. Eventually I came to something I quite liked. There's also a world in which this exists. That's looking more and more likely by the day or by the minute. All I have to do, distress this, distress this, and distress this, and then also the bandages too. And I don't think I have to do anything else. So let's do it. I'm excited. Oh my goodness, it's so cool. This costume definitely took less time than Deviant. I mean, I worked on it Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and that was it. But that doesn't mean it didn't take quite a bit of time in itself. What took honestly the longest was painting the white vest a dirty brown black mixture. Should I have used fabric paint? Probably. Was I too lazy to run out and grab some so I used normal acrylic paint? Absolutely. All right, so my hands are killing me. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Welcome to day number two. The jacket, you know, it's it's fine. It's not like the greatest, obviously, I used acrylic paint. I think it looks good. I think it looks pretty worn, pretty gross, dirty. Now that the base is basically done, we can get to the part I was most excited for. I first went in splattering some white paint with a toothbrush to give it something other than a brown and black base. Originally, that was all I was gonna do, but then I decided it needed a little more personality. So I started going on with some yellow geometric details and metalwork. By metalwork, I mean just sticking random pieces of metal on it from the little clacky gloves I made earlier. I had metal bits from that. I had a lot of fun doing all of this because I doodle pretty similarly to those yellow shapes anyway, and obviously gluing anything onto any article of clothing is also very satisfying. I've been a big fan of like the bumblebee color scheme and especially Junkrat, so this character leans heavily on both of those characters. I also wanted to include a cool geometric design on the back. It turned out to be mostly covered by my scarves, but you and I know it's there, so. I thought of it being like some kind of rebel group symbol because of STM's theme, which I guess I should probably talk about now that I'm speeding through this footage. So, STN's overall story is a crazy freak storm has hit DoD, and there seems to be some kind of creature behind it all trying to kill everybody. DoD's turned into a giant wasteland. Every section has their own goal in the story. Feel free to pause and read this novel Jonathan posted for us. It's actually very interesting. But right now we're focusing on where I am. I'm Breaker 2, another 
everyone off the bingo board. Our theme is that we believe in the storm and have the supplies to sustain ourselves already. My costume turned out to go really well with this area and theme because I kind of treated it like a rebel gang thing. This was a very, very self-serving costume. I've always wanted to look like the badass lead in a teen dystopian movie. There were snippets of that in last year's STN costume, but after many hours of crafting and weathering, I do believe I made something I was thoroughly happy with. Finally, as long as I'm not forgetting anything, believe I'm done. I'm so much happy with this and it was with last year's costume. And also like thinking about last year too. Man, is this such a difference. I am really, really proud of myself with how far I've come, especially compared to last year and just like in general. That was the first time I'd ever made a costume ever from that frankly underwhelming costume to this. That looked like some kind of rebellion. Well, originally there was gonna be like a rebellion that Blake was talking about against the monster, but that didn't end up happening. But if that did happen, I will be a great resistance leader. As soon as I put the belts on, I need to pee. As soon as I put the belts on. I think it's just dress pee. I had so much fun making this costume. And I've had fun making all of my costumes throughout the season. This is a very self-indulgent one. Extremely self-indulgent. I love these kind of characters. But anyway. Here we are, back at Dungeon of Doom. I know to you guys it seems like barely any difference because this is probably being uh, posted right after the season ends. But for me, I've been editing those videos and it's been a month in between. That's so pretty. It could be so fun. Oh. Nice. Kinda. I hope so. Yeah. They told me it'd be fun. It's gotta be fun. I wanna do some precursors if you didn't watch my subthermal video last year. There's gonna be a lot of guest actors. I'm already getting haggled. I was gonna say, I probably won't know most of them, but I think I'm gonna know a good chunk of them. A couple people from Abandoned who work at Enchant and a lot of the Hill's Eyes actors. And this is gonna be much different from last year because I made more friends, you know? A year can change a lot. Mm, shut up! I'll turn my ass right back around! <laughs> Welcome to Chili's. Hey. Welcome to Chili's. You look like James from all the way back there. <laughs> I came here a little bit earlier so I could learn how to break sewer boiler and industrial. Break or two spot, I just call it industrial. Hey. I need someone to show me how to break industrial and sewer and stuff. Hey Tyler, you've never worked here? Show her how to break Show industrial. me how to break industrial. Industrial? What? what? I don't what know, know what the here. fuck I'm doing. All right, show me. Show me. Come on. This is where the customer starts. He's slacking. Here, look, come look. Come no, yeah, I, yeah, no, 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 they're supposed to start up there. The customer start over here. Oh yeah, out there. Yeah, the customer two start up there. Yeah, he doesn't use nothing. Okay. Okay. You actually want to know how to like oh, break the room though? Yeah, I don't okay. know how. Okay. I want to hear what he has to say. Oh no, I'm just learning the spots. So they come this way, obviously. Okay, right? never mind. I'm gonna be a Blake. I've worked this room before. All right. I need fine. to learn how to work I'm, every I'm, room. Oh, in the whole area? Yes, on breaker two. Oh. Yeah, he didn't want to do that. He showed me how to flip a lever that sends the ceiling down in industrial, and that was that was it. I tried finding Blake for it, but he just dipped, so I guess we're getting our costume on first. Like Thank you to the guys. Yeah, That's perfect. Give me some snow. Give me that. Where, do you want to <laughs> Where are you? Surgery. I'm excited. Yeah. I mean, ask them um, if you can do rails and I teach you. I will gladly do that. 100%. Yeah. That's Griffin, an abandoned actor. I know it's kind of hard to remember people when they have like no name to a face. So here's a reference for you. Did the roar, pretty princess. What roar? I'm a princess. princess the pretty princess so roar. <laughs> You're welcome. Anyways. You look fabulous also though. I like it. Thanks. They didn't help me. No. Someone's got to show me. Look well, you pretty much have it looks like this big. wall to that wall. The sewer's right over here. And the way they run the sewers, you got three doors. You got one, two, and three. This one opens on the oncoming customers. Scare pocket, which has a trigger and it'll go off. So he'll be in here, and then Nathan, you'll know exactly where he's at. Right. He'll be climbing the barrel holes. You can climb from this one to this one to this one real easy. Okay. 
But yeah, you have okay. two in here, and uh, you got one person up here, but they get up there, you have to go this way. We have a secret door right here, so we can just come right through. Matthew only showed me this part. Good job, Matt. So, like, industrial bottom, like, around here, and then... Yeah, he roams his whole thing and tops over there. And this is how you get up to the top of Bay. Stairs. Yep, and then that goes right over there, and then that's your last person. Okay. And then once you finish your breaks, you just go out the door, and you're already at the break room. That is very convenient. Yeah. I'm so excited. Hi. <laughs> For the first night, I wanted Brandon to do my makeup because I've only had his work once at HHE and we gotta get one more look in. For this character, I wanted a kind of similar look to this one with some like claw marks through the sclera to make it like the creature tore through it. Oh my god, that's neon! That's hilarious. I didn't know he was painted with neon. It's like a full body mirror to see this. The costuming's closed. Oh no. After makeup, there's still a bit of time to do whatever, so I got up to, well, whatever. This is gonna, this is gonna be a lot of fun to hit. Oh god. I did not see where this was. Okay. So, where are they coming from though? Okay, over here. There's like no way to film me doing this. a little bit of an issue tonight. A lot of actors got here later, which means there were too many scare actors and not enough makeup artists. There are always a couple people still in the makeup room by the time we open, but this was the most I had ever seen still in there by 7 p.m. Oh no, why no? Oh, it should not be this crashes, so we get it. Alrighty! Yeah, that's what are we looking at? I'm the manager. What are we looking at? It's gonna double break these Double people. break you? Okay, are you sure you can do that? Are you sure? I did it last year. I had about 40 minutes until break started, so I got up to my usual antics. Alrighty, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, I'm nervous. What? Are you bothering these fine folks? These folks do not know what they see! Oh. Have you come to seek Strouter? Oh, God, I'm gonna get you one time. One time, one day? Yeah. That's okay, I believe in you. I don't really know where that came from. There was a thing this season where like four actors were trying to scare me the whole season because it's hard to get me to jump, but I didn't recognize her, so maybe it was just a weird coincidence. Anyway. Also, sorry for the camera angle being just too low. The GoPro was actually a panic option for me because I left my action camera at Enchant, so I'm just gonna have to deal with it. You're not here for my rations, are you? No, 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 no. Okay, because it's cold out here. No, I'm not. I don't know if people cold. stealing it. You're not gonna steal my stuff! <laughs> Limited supplies around here. You hear me? He's, You're I a hear thief? You. I no, hear you. He's Are a thief. you sure? He's a thief. You stay away from my stuff. You hear me? I hear you. Who's in there? Hey, hey, hey! There's enough room in here for the both of us. Oh, she looks pretty. Oh, this is a bad position. I'm gonna step out of here. Huh? This isn't food. You need. here. Well, that's kind of disappointing. Okay. Back in we go, I guess. Oh, oh it's pretty in here. Uh, my favorite thing. I know. I got a little Christmas here. I know. The first group just got in, by the way. Sup? Get your ass out there. I got uh, 10 minutes before I start break. Oh, I just got, I just got the It's okay. I'll act up front next round. I was like, where is Yell he? Yell at me, Nicole. Where is he? I want to act 
Jack movie for a little bit. Oh, I thought you were saving a spot. I'm like, you got 11 people out there. No, I'm a great one. We're all going to be staying in one we spot in any of my life. What? Are you breaking? I'm breaker two. 752 right now. I'm on my time in the break. Um, let me know the start breaks. This is also working pretty well. Let's go back. Are very well spaced out, so this is nice. I'm gonna just sit here and wait for the pop scare to go. No trespassing! No trespassing! I have enough all those people here! Yes! Oh, I'm gonna go scare the shit out of them. Oh, hi! Right. Perfect! I proceeded to pester this group as I walked to the next spot, Boiler, where I decided to double break the actors there. You think you can run through here like you own the place? No, sir! I want this area all to myself. Now, I know I spend most of my time in my area, obviously I'm a breaker for it, but my GoPro had a really hard time picking up anything in these spots, which sucks. Don't worry though, because I got a lot of queue line and general behind the scenes footage to supplement that. We all have the rations for you! I'm sorry, but we all have the rations for you! I can't cater to more people! I only got a limited group of people to feed! I think she was suddenly not having a good time. Whew. This spot is so fun. I like this area. Which sucks, since my GoPro apparently didn't like it. But that just means I'll have to get some better footage here next season. Have some key line as a palate cleanser. You guys look cute! Except those crazy cabin people! Amber is the best oh actor up there. Mom. Always plays this. a confused old lady and it's amazing. I wasn't supposed to be calling her grandma, but I forgot what to actually call her the whole night, so she's grandma. I gotta sell it, yeah. What a winter storm! Who's gonna actually buy that? Looney, I swear! Oh, you're all crazy! Industrial was even worse for my camera. It can record barely anything, so I'm gonna give you a play-by-play -play of what I do here and then keep these clips to a minimum. What did I say about treating in my encampment? My encampment, you hear me? I don't need any extra people in here. I got enough people in here present. Watch your head, watch your head. Oh, let's break into her encampment and watch our heads. Why don't we? Oh, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of these people breaking into my encampment. Y'all think you can just come in here with nothing to give us? And think that's okay? Like that's all right? Like you can just come in here into our home? That's it. And that's all you're getting from Industrial Bottom. These guys are loonies. Look at this. It's because they didn't join my encampment. They went psycho. What is wrong with all of you? What is wrong with all of you? Oh my god. I'm going to have a real scar now. Jeez. I do want a hug. Oh. Oh wait, you just took me out. Oh no. Why does he get to relax and I have to run around feeding my people? Why do you get to relax, huh? Double standards! Double standards! You tell Woo! Hi! Okay, are you ready for your break? This is another really dark spot, so we're doing the same thing we did for the bottom. A play by play! Nice little run spot, in my opinion. Oh. Don't you dare call me short. He 
doesn't even know me and he's calling me short. I didn't say the S word, you said the S word. I'm tall! Hey. Nobody said the T word either. She's short. Don't make fun of me. My feelings, huh?
I'm talking about here is I recognize some Hill as Eyes actors who didn't tell me when they were coming, so I didn't interact with them at all in the queue line, and they also walked through my area when I was in the most physically separated spot possible. Brilliant. Also, the camera has red streaks because the battery is super low, so that's where we're actually going to end it for tonight's scaring. Since STN is a passion thing, they can't really pay us how we're paid during the normal season. But if you work one night, you get a custom embroidered patch. So naturally, I went to get that patch. Yep, I sure did. I want my patch! No, no patch. Give me the patch. Give me the patch. Oh, 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 I don't care about me. No, I didn't. It wasn't me. They don't care about me. They don't care about me. Oh my god. It wasn't Tristan. It was Fuck you. I need to return my whole costume. All of it. Everything. Needs to go back. All my costume. Take my skin. Huh? What? 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 Anyway. Sorry, we don't have no. any more sharp knives, so it's oh, gonna be- Oh, really? The dull one's it's gonna hurt, hurt though. though. With one out of two nights down, tomorrow will be my very last night of 2023. That you'll have to watch in part two. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, I got very intimidated by all the footage I got of STN, and I don't want an hour and a half long video because then I get discouraged and editing slows down when I get discouraged. So if I split up the days into two videos, I'll be able to get both videos out faster than if I kept it one long mega episode. And I swear, I'll see you again in like two days. Give me two days. Give me one day. Give me a minute. Trust me. I'm mad at myself for dragging this on. I have to do other series. I have other series I want to start. 